hey guys and welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a little bit different it's not going to be beauty related at all um it's actually going to be just how you read it the title um all about the tsa exam or the cbt test in order to be a tsa at your international airport or an airport near you um i just wanted to come on here and do a video on it because i realized when i was going to go take the exam um there were really few videos um obviously i'm not going to be giving you guys the exact answers or anything like that um hence i did take the test i did pass yay me um but yeah i wanted to also go in further about um in another video totally you know why why i'm even applying for this type of job but um if you guys you know want to tune in on that definitely subscribe to my channel but uh, yeah in order to become a tsa all you have to do is send in your resume um near or in your local um airport website that's what i did and then they're going to read your resume and once they do um you know they're just gonna say if it's approved or not. so after you send in your resume um you are going to be giving or send an email address in order for you to schedule your own cbt test and once you do schedule it you're going to go to your local like um testing center near you and that's what i did and um in order like what to focus i feel like definitely focus on like vocabulary and your comprehension because those are different sections that are going to be in the, in the exam and especially the x-ray portion which is the part where most people um struggle with to be honest i found it um mediocre like i find myself guessing but i also find myself like finding the actual tools in the x-rays i am um, in terms of the x-ray definitely focus in color and shapes because you're going to get a ton of different things such as like knives and baby toys and really outrageous things and you're going to have to find them um i would definitely recommend going to google and practice this is not an exam that you would just want to go in and you know and just do it without practice so yeah that's something that i feel that helped me out i went online and i found like practice exams obviously um you know they're not going to give you the exact answers but i feel like they're pretty similar i feel like i was so so nervous in order to take the exam and it was literally so easy nothing to worry about um in order okay so this is what the test is going to be like it's going to be like vocabulary comprehension which is like reading a passage and then answering like what's the main idea and then the x-ray portion so in the vocabulary part you just have to find like they're going to give you a word and um, basically like A through D, which is the selections that you're gonna have. And then you just have to choose um, like which word is more similar to the other word that they have um, brought up to you, which is like synonyms. The second part of the exam is more like comprehension and more like finding the main idea, which is really, really simple. Um, but you do have to read. Like I felt like I had to read it like multiple times in order to like find the answer. So things that pop out in the colored orange are usually like personal things like paper or like a purse or like things that people carry with them. Things that come out green and black are usually electronics and things that come out all totally black are usually like guns and like knives and all of that. So I definitely felt comfortable and prepared for the test because like I said, I practice, which is something that I feel like you guys should do. But um, yeah, I practice and I passed the exam. Um, it took me about an hour and a half, I'd say. But yeah, if you guys have any questions for the more about the test, definitely just leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any, any questions at all, just let me know and I'll do my best in answering them. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.
Thank you.